Well, hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to make some simple edits uh, using the newer iOS 13, uh, how to edit our photos on our iPad or iPhone. So here I've got an image that I took of some students at the high school um, to get started once the photo is open. So really, I'm just in my normal camera roll. I'm going to click on Edit. So the interface is a little bit different. Again, the urge is probably typically to go over here and just choose one of these filters. But today, we don't want to do that. We want to just stay on original. And let's look at our different settings. So as you scroll down here, underneath auto here, the first thing we want to do is change the exposure. So this is where we can quickly make the image brighter or, uh, brighter or darker. Okay, so the image is already kind of bright. I might actually want to lower the exposure a little bit to minus 7. Next, we have uh, brilliance, uh, make the colors a bit more brilliant. So if I lower it down here, uh, it's making it a bit brighter and making the colors a bit deeper. Highlights, when we change the highlights, we're editing the really bright spots or white spots on my image. So if I make that brighter, hitting that white is white is going to go a little bit brighter and I can make them darker. So I'm actually going to bring the highlights a little bit lower. Shadows is the opposite. Uh, we're going to darken our shadows or brighten the shadows. So if I lower it down, the shadows are getting darker. kind of makes it more contrasty. If I increase the shadows, I'm making the shadows brighter. So anything that's darker is going to be a bit brighter. So I can increase it a little bit. Again, I can quickly increase the contrast. Uh, obviously, we don't want to make it too contrasted. Uh, it looks kind of funny. And I don't want to do it the other way. I might make it add a touch more contrast. I can make it a bit brighter if I wanted to. Um, change the black point. Saturation I usually stay away from. Um, again if I make the image too saturated it looks a little bit silly. If I take the saturation out I, I'm basically left with a black and white image. I'm gonna add a bit of saturation. Vibrance similar to saturation. Okay make the individuals pop a bit more with more color. Temperature, so I can make my image either warmer or cooler. So it's already pretty cool. You see a lot of blues in the image. If I made it even cooler, it makes it even more blue. Uh, I kind of like the kind of warm image we have going here. So maybe I'm going to keep it at four for warmth. I can play with the tint. Okay, tint it looks like it's adding a bit more magenta or green into my image. Um, I definitely don't want to make it more green. Maybe add a bit more. Okay, I can increase the sharpness. Just be careful with this one. You don't want to make it too sharp. Um, but yeah, adding a tiny bit of sharpness isn't a, a bad idea. I haven't seen definition before. Um, but again, again, with all these little changes, um, you just want to be careful not to make them too, too high or else you get a strange looking image. And uh, a new thing that's been added is the noise reduction. So if you've got a noisy image, uh, you can uh, decrease the noise. And finally, vignette. Uh, either add a black vignette or a white vignette. Um, sure, we could add a bit of a black vignette if we wanted to. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on Done there. And one last thing I could do is I could crop the image as well. So if I really want to focus on... Uh, the two individuals here. I could use my rule of thirds, move in on them a bit quick, move in on them, adjust it how I want to. And when I'm happy with that, I can also hit done. Okay, so as you can see with the new iOS update, um, there's been a few changes, uh, there's been a few additions, kind of like noise reduction, um, and but it's basically the same as the iOS 12. But again, using your phone, you can quickly edit and make your cell phone photos just a tiny bit better.